We uh, finally have met halfway. I have finally met the man, the myth, the legend, DJ Peters from Glendora High School. And man, I never thought you'd be rocking this Brett Michaels headband. I didn't, I didn't know that was part of the whole Glendora appeal that, that you have. Yeah, so, you know, when I'm out here lifting and hitting <laughs> stuff, I have all this hair and uh, I like to just put up in a bun and kind of just, you know, keep all the flyaways out of my hair. So, uh, yeah, no, JT rocks the headband too and, you know, all the other guys that have all the long hair. So um, it's really good to be out here with all those guys all the time and whether I'm wearing a headband or a hat, um, just kind of try and keep the hair out of my face. Don't even try to compare yourself to Justin Turner. You're a good-looking dude. Thanks. JT looks like the wrestler, you know, Mickey Rourke and the wrestler. Right. You are a good-looking dude, and you are a man. Jeez, I would not mess with you. Uh, were you always naturally, physically gifted? I was always I was always super big, super tall, you know. I, uh, over in high school, over in Glendora, um, I was always tall but skinny. So um, I was always, you know, 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". Uh, but only like 190, 195 pounds and kind of started started to grow into my body um, over at Western Nevada where I played uh, baseball for two years. So I was thinking Jimmy Graham right when I met you. I, I feel like you got that tight end type of build. Yeah, I, and every single day I tell you, I mean, I, I always get, you should have played football, you could have been a tight end, you could have been this, could have been that, but, um, you know, God has gifted me with this with this baseball ability and kind of just want to, you know, take it as far as I can. What really drew you to the game of baseball rather than football or basketball? When I was six years old, um, my grandfather took me to my first Dodger game, uh, sat actually right above us right here and uh, watched Sean Green play and watched, you know, all of all of those guys like Eric Gagne and all those guys yeah. play. So just absolutely fell in love with the game of baseball. And then, you know, my dad signed me up for the local Little League uh, when I was seven years old for the following season and kind of just, you know, fell in love with the game right then and there and uh, knew that, you know, this is this is what I wanted to, to do for the rest of my life. And, um, you know, God, God has blessed me with that ability. So just kind of, like I said, trying to do a runaway with it. Safe to say Sean Green is your favorite player? Sean Green is my favorite player since that day when he hit uh, the four home runs out in Milwaukee. Usually your favorite player you don't want to meet because you don't want to know whether or not the guy is nice or not a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I could safely say you can meet Sean Green. He's one of the greatest guys. That's what I've heard, you know, from all the guys out in spring training. They always say that, <clears throat> you know, Sean Green is a phenomenal human being. And, you know, I feel like I feel like that's something that the Dodgers really, really pride themselves in as an organization is to, you know, bring in, bring in great, great human beings and, you know, really good baseball players. So i um, really excited to meet him if I be able to this, uh, this spring training. DJ Peters is our guest, one of the Dodgers' top outfield prospects. Hit 27 home runs at Rancho Cucamonga. They still call it the epicenter, right? Yes, they do. Yes, yes. What was it like? I mean, usually when a guy plays in the minor leagues, you're far from home, you're in a small town. But from what I understand, Rancho Cucamonga has electricity now. Yeah, it's, you know, I grew up 20 minutes from there. Grow up, uh, grew up going to uh, quick games. I actually played there in high school a few times. Yeah. So. Um, absolutely loves it. Uh, absolutely love it there, and uh, was lucky enough to play for the Quakes. You know, the team that I grew up going, going to watch when I was like 10 years yeah. old. So uh, loved it. Uh, loved every single minute of it. Like I said, and um, they have really good atmosphere over there. Did you make the commute from Glendora to Rancho, or did you try to be on your own and find your own place out there? I actually lived with the host family out there, out in uh, out in Fontana, California. So only about 15 minutes from the stadium, and. Uh, lived lived out there with uh, with uh, Will Smith and uh, had a lot of fun. Yeah. What was it like playing for Rancho Cucamonga out here in L.A.? We heard about all the talent that you had, not only yourself, but your pitching staff with Walker Bueller and Mitchell White. You had Kiber Ruiz, one of the great catchers in the minor league system. What was it like to play with talented guys like yourself? We had, you know, a really good pitching staff, really good lineup in the beginning of the season, in the middle, and at the end. Uh, you know, like I said, Walker started there, and you know, yeah. end of the year in the big leagues, and you know, Mitchell White threw uh, threw well, and uh, Kabert came up from Great Lakes when you know Will went up to Double A, and he filled the role perfectly, and you know that, like I said, that just goes to show how how well this Dodgers org organization drafts, and how how well they you know sign their players, take care of their players, 
have everyone be themselves at the same time because you know everyone's different we're not all the same and you know the Dodgers really really prize themselves in that what's it like for you being here at Dodger Stadium working out you're here obviously for the youth camps this weekend and if you want to get in on the January camps dodgers.com slash camps is where you can go and hang out with guys like DJ Peters and Walker Bueller but what's it like to be here on the field working with these kids and working out in the weight room for the first time at Dodger Stadium? You know, it's, for me, it's an absolute blessing, you know, for the Dodgers uh, to see me as somebody, you know, to come to the camp, represent the Dodgers, and also, you know, work work with the kids, whether they're, you know, six years old or 16 years old, uh, kind of just, you know, giving back to the community. And, you know, like I said before, the Dodgers prize ourselves in, you know, community and family and brotherhood and, you know, with, with these camps every single month and every single week of the month. Um, it just goes to show that truly the Dodgers do do care about that. Well, while you're these kids slave, does your mind ever wander while you're putting the ball on the tee for them that, hey, this is where my end goal is, this is where I want to play? Do you ever let your mind wander that one day you could be playing in the same outfield as your favorite player, Sean Green? Yeah, you know, every single day when I'm out here, um, when I'm playing catch, hitting, running, <laughs> just stretching, you know, I just you know look up in the stands and this place is – super big it's a lot bigger than it is on tv and you know when i got to play in the freeway and the freeway series yeah. it was it was a ton of fun and uh you know this place gets loud it does it really does you know when you're in the stands it seems like it gets loud but when you're down on the field it's you know just breathtaking and kind of just sends you know chills throughout your body and um just kind of just makes you feel light on your feet do you know the plan for you in spring training do you feel like you're going to be in big league camp have you been given any indication what the plan is for you this spring? I have not. Um, you know, the only thing that I know um, is that I'll be going to Tulsa next year, Double uh, A. So, haven't really uh, been told anything about Big League camp, minor league camp. But you know, to be honest with you, whether whether I go to Big League camp or you know go back to minor league camp, uh, I'm just going to enjoy it. Um, I'm just going to get better. Um, you know, keep on learning, keep on improving my game, and you know, kind of just better myself as a person and a baseball player. All right, before I let you go. I mean, obviously, Rancho Cucamonga, close to your home. How many tickets would you have to leave at the epicenter? And do you think that trained you for one day being here at Dodger Stadium and, and having that kind of environment of your home being in the backyard here? Yeah, I would leave probably about five <laughs> to seven tickets even, uh, every night for my dad um, nice. and my brothers and sisters. So uh, all, all my buddies were super good about it, and uh, they all understood. So, uh, yeah, I would just leave tickets for my family and, you know, they are the ones that have you know priority in my life over that kind of stuff so um it was it was really good to see him out in rancho and it's gonna be even better to see him out here what kind of music do you listen to on the way to the epicenter uh i would listen to country um a little bit of r&b a little bit of hip-hop a little bit of everything i love i love all types of music well-rounded guy so you're listening to drake and then you might change it to luke bryan one day <laughs> yes exactly maybe maybe even on the same car ride <laughs> Oh, wow. And what kind of car do you drive? A Honda, a Hyundai, a Jeep? What, I'm trying to picture. I, I feel like you're a guy that has a, has a pickup truck. I think that's your, your kind of speed. No, uh, Nissan Maxima. Oh, you were close. of course, the Nissan Maxima. Maybe you could give your guy Travis here, strength and conditioning coach, a ride in the, in the bed, right? He loves it. <laughs> DJ, it's great meeting you. Congratulations on the success you've had to this point, and thank hopefully uh, we see you out here soon. Thank you. God bless you guys, and thank you for everything. Go Dodgers. Yeah. DJ Peters. Awesome, man.